You are watching a clip from the John Perry channel, Genetics and Evolution. I used to work, I used to volunteer at a wildlife rehabilitation center. And so we would deal with, you know, injured birds of all kind, injured mammals. Pretty much anything, we weren't allowed to work with wolves or deer or possums because possums were considered nuisance and coyotes were considered nuisance. And then wolves and deer were just too big for us. But we, we dealt with pretty much everything else in the state of Oregon. We had an osprey come in who didn't, that didn't make it. On screen right now, I'm showing some photos by this guy on Instagram. His name is join us one, two, three, four, five. But his real name is Chen Jiangguang. He does these amazing osprey photos where he'll take a bunch of pictures as they're hitting the water. We had an osprey come in who didn't, that didn't make it. And the guy that I was working with, the guy who runs the place, he was showing me it, it had a broken humerus. This is the humerus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Had a broken humerus, so the upper arm bone. And he was showing me that it's got these little, uh, it's a very hollow bone, but it has these, they struts. look like bicycle spikes. Yeah, these struts mm -hmm. that go across. He was telling me that those form according to how that individual happens to hit the water when it's hunting. So those spokes will change over time. He says that every time he looks at one, it's it's slightly different. And he, he thinks that it's it's remodeling. I don't know if if that sounds like a legitimate hypothesis to you. I mean, it does. It does in a way where um, I would not be surprised, especially early on in the animal's life. So, so bird bones in general are quite hollow. Uh, pterosaurs are the same way. And they mm. have struts. Um, to kind of prop up the inside of the bone and distribute the pressure without not without adding extra weight mm -hmm. because you know one way to make your bones strong is just to make them thick but if you yeah. really want to get um airbound <laughs> you're not gonna want to add all that weight so the way they do it is they add all these struts now it's interesting because there is a couple of studies that show okay like here's an ulna of a vulture and we know the way vultures hold their wings because you know they kind of yeah. soar and they do it one way and there isn't a whole lot of external differences in pressure and so they scanned these bones and they saw that yeah okay the struts are you know uh placed in areas of high pressure because we can actually test possibly where pressure is uh based on the bone shape so i, I don't think that's a crazy hypothesis i wonder how much of it does change because as as you're remodeling something you're taking stuff away and you're adding so you yeah. have to do it at a rate that isn't weakening the bone, right? Yeah. So the way we, we have osteoporosis is that the remodeling is happening so fast that you're doing a lot of the taking away without doing a lot of the adding. So yeah. I would assume this would be a problem for diving birds where, you know, the, the remodeling just has to be at a good enough pace. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think he was saying, it's been a long time since I had this conversation with him, but I think he was saying that the juveniles have more than the adults. So it's like the juveniles have them all over the place randomly and the adults have them only in specific positions according to how they've been hunting. I Maybe would that... not be surprised. That would totally make sense to me. I mean, yeah, if, if the juveniles kind of went all out with making struts at the beginning and then the biology kind of like biology of the bone kind of narrows it down and takes away the ones that are not useful and that actually happens in us as well. So um, the, our, our femora, like the, the top of the femur where it hits or inserts into the hip, it has all these struts that are optimized for our type of walking. And mm -hmm. it distributes the, the pressure well from, you know, hitting into the hip and also back into the femur. So, you know, so you don't snap off your uh, femoral head, which is a really bad injury. So yeah. it's, it's a, yeah. So it's a good way to distribute that. So we have all these struts too, and they've shown that, yeah, okay. The struts and runners look different than the struts and, you know, your average Joe that just maybe walks to work. Yeah. Um, so we look different on the inside, depending on what we're doing. And those definitely remodel <laughs> over our lifetime. So that's so neat. Well, that's it for this clip, but don't worry. I post clips regularly and every Thursday I post completely fresh content. Make sure you're subscribed. Liking and commenting is also welcome.